This message is for somebody who may feel that you are in a spot in your life that you just don't understand. Things were going the way that you had intended for them to go. And all of a sudden, it was as if someone pulled the carpet from under your feet. Somehow you find your way stumbling. You lost your footing. And you don't know what you're going to do. You don't know how you're going to make it. You don't know for sure what route to take. But one thing you are certain of is your trust in God. And it is the beginning of the week this week. And it's time for you to stand on your faith and your intention in your soul. And I want you to know that your fruit is still good. I want to say that just one more time. In the midst of you not seeing any production, any growth in your life, in the midst of you losing some things, some things are beginning to fall away in your life, in the midst of you losing a branch that you thought would always be a part of your tree, you lose fruit that you thought that would always be a part of your story, of your history, of your experience here on this earth, I want you to understand something that your fruit come on somebody today is still good. I want to take you over here to John 15, where Jesus says that I am the vine and my father is the vine dresser and every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that continues to bear fruit, he repeatedly prunes so that it will bear more fruit. So when you, when you prune something, when you're gardening and you prune it, you remove parts of that branch, including that tree, including branches and buds and flowers and blooms and leaves and roots. And the reason why is that part of your life is not producing fruit. It is resistant to production. And I know sometimes we think that relationships that we have with people, really close relationships that we had, we really intended for them to go the long haul. We really thought that if we were raised in a particular family, that that family would be down with us. We really thought that that job that we had, that we thought that we could move up in that company, that we could produce, that we could be influential, that we would retire out of. We thought that that side of town, that state, that whole area, that we would be a part of that. But somehow God will come in in his miraculous power and he will begin to strip things away from us. And it makes us feel uncomfortable. It makes us feel like we're displaced. And it makes us feel that we're lost. But I just rose up to tell you, God wanted me to remind you that your fruit, come on somebody, is still good. Your fruit is still good. See, this pruning process happens so that you will bear more fruit. That means it would be even richer and finer fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have given you, the teachings in which I've discussed with you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. And just as no branch can bear fruit by itself, without remaining in the vine and neither can you bear fruit producing evidence of your faith unless you remain in me and he says that i am the vine and you are the branches the one who remains in me and i in him bears much fruit for otherwise apart from me that is cut off from vital union with me you can do nothing I want you to understand that through the pruning process of your life, that the enemy wants to move in to disconnect you from the spirit of the Most High through the Son, Jesus. He wants to 
pull you away from that energy. He wants to pull you away from that frequency. He wants to pull you away from that spirit because he understands that as long as you are in union with it, then only good things will happen. And somehow, some way, sometimes we get distracted with branches falling off. We get distracted when we lose things. We get distracted when that marriage ended. We get distracted when we lost that job. We get distracted when people People talk about us. We get distracted when people betray us. We get distracted when we have sickness in our bodies. We get distracted with our current situations and circumstances. And it's only an illusion. Come on, somebody, to get you to cave in your faith. Come on today so that you will fall away with the branch that's being pulled away. It's strategically done to make sure that you're more effective. Come on, to make sure that you are even more blessed, that you have more favor, that you're able to produce more. I want you to understand that God wants you to get lost in his spirit. He wants you to get lost in your faith. He wants you to get lost in your intention to please him. He wants you to get lost in Jesus, knowing that you are divinely connected to the giver of all things. And this is what he says in verse seven. And if you remain, in me. Come on. And my words remain in you. That is, if we are vitally united and my message lives in your heart, then you can ask for whatsoever you wish and it will be done for you. Not so you can brag or boast, but it will be done for you to bring glory back to the Father. I want you to know that you are the most strategic plant in this environment. I want you to understand that sometimes it takes time to give you the roots that you need because you are a tree in the garden of God's mind. And I want you to understand that regardless to what may be jacked up, shook up, and messed up in your life today, it's all a part of the plan so that you can get back up stronger than you were before. You know, I look at this bush in my yard every year during the winter months when it's cold and when it's dry, it loses every leaf and every little berry on that tree. And sometimes that's where we are in our lives. We are experiencing a winter because God wants some things to dry up and fall off and fall out of our lives. But that tree don't get discouraged. That tree in my yard still stands because one thing that tree is certain in is God is going to produce for it when the season comes. And I want you to know today that you may be in a situation to where you may be experiencing some dryness in your life. You may be experiencing some things falling apart in your life. You may be experiencing some things where you've lost some fruit, but I, I, I want you to know today that that's only God getting ready to reboot you. And when the sun comes up and when morning time come, when you grand to your rising today, I look out at that tree today. It's just so beautiful, full of new leaves that are shining, new berries that the deers feed on. And you represent hope. You represent the glory of God. No matter what is going on in your experience today, I want you to listen to me. As long as you remain in the vine, then you will produce more fruit, greater fruit than you lost 30, 40, 60, a 100 fold return if you do not fall away. Because I tell you the truth, verily, 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 come on, somebody, I say to you today that your fruit mm, 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 is supernatural. Your fruit <laughs> is generational curse breaking. Your fruit, come on somebody, makes way for others to come behind you to live a more vibrant life, more spiritual life. Your fruit, come on somebody, it restores lost souls unto the most high. Your fruit is still good. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I still be believing in you. Bye now.